Hey, thanks for tuning in to American Cycle Sport TV. This is Marco, and today we're going to talk about something a little different. And uh, I know we get a lot of people coming in the store, they want to see all the fancy carbon fiber, the lightweight wheels, and the XTR, and the Durace, and all that good stuff. And yeah, we got all that to show you, but there's a couple little things. It's a little things that, uh, that have been kind of impressing me lately, so I wanted to share them with you. One of them is the new Cali helmets. Okay, these guys are a little bit newer to the scene. We're all familiar with the Bell and the Giro and, and Lamar and all the other brands. Uh, but uh, I saw these guys in September at Interbike in Vegas, and I was quite impressed. So what we're going to talk about today is the Chakra. This, these helmets here are the Chakras. Okay, we'll start with this one. This is the standard Chakra. comes in the solid colors in, in like four or five different shades and stuff like that. Very, very nice. Um, the one thing about the helmet, it meets the same... Product Safety Commission, ANSI standards as everybody else in terms of the methods of construction and safety. Uh, one thing I was really liked about this was the three-quarter coverage. Three-quarter coverage is not anything new. The other companies do it too, but these guys do a really nice structure. I think aesthetically it looks like the racing helmet up front with the, you know, the vents and, and uh, the, the sculpting and then the sculpting in the three-quarters. Just absolutely wonderful looking. Uh, it's in mold constructed. Okay, a lot of people are not sure what that is. Well, in mold is when they manufacture the polystyrene for this, this is actually a hard resin that's bonded directly to the, the, uh, the inner polystyrene during the manufacturing process. So this is not just a cover that was made and, you know, it's not going to peel off. It's not something that was made and glued on, stuck on, and, uh, and there you go. Uh, this is all one unit. It's all bonded together in mold construction. So... Okay, all your top helmet manufacturers do that. Uh, very light. Something I was pretty surprised with with a helmet in this price category, which I'll get to. Uh, really, really light for a three-quarter helmet. Removable visor. It's got the um, adjustable tension here. It comes in small, medium, and medium, large, so it's easy to fit, easy to size. Uh, but the neat thing about this is you can adjust it like this, make it wider, make it smaller. But the neat little feature on this, it's got a clutch. Okay, so the clutch keeps you from over-tightening and breaking this device. Very nice feature. You just put it on, crank it till you hear the clutch, and you're done. Sweet. That's a Chakra. Chakra Plus, same helmet. Got the uh, in-mold construction with the polystyrene. They, do, they go a little bit more here. They wrap it underneath here, you know, which is kind of nice, you know, for your sunglasses. Sometimes your sunglasses will ding that up a little bit. But to here, not the case. They got the in-mold hard resin shell on the, on the, the lip there. Uh, comes with a multicolor graphic as opposed to a single color, so, and they have a number of ones to choose from. Uh, also removable visor, same great three-quarter construction and that nice, nicely sculpted uh, design. Got the clutch built in, the whole shot. And then this one comes with the bug net, which in certain countries is actually the law. So like in Australia, you can't sell a helmet in Australia without having a bug net. Well, this one comes with it. Everything's on both of them. Removable pads. Take them out, wash them, throw them back in. Uh, Bug net's a nice, nice feature. Best part about these helmets, $39.95 for the Chakra. $49.95 for the Chakra Plus. Amazing how just 10 years ago, just 10 years ago, I mean, the, the, all that technology's trickled down and we can get an absolutely wonderful mountain bike helmet three-quarter construction with all these features, including a bug net for under 50 bucks. So anyhow, like I said, it's the little things. Have fun.